Hi, this is Jim with CES Classroom, and today I want to help you make really good purchasing decisions when you're buying inventory to sell on eBay or Amazon. There's a couple really simple things that you can do. Now let's say, for example, that you have the opportunity to buy 10 of this guy right here for, let's say, $8. You see them in a box, they're on closeout at a store or online somewhere else besides Amazon. And you're trying to decide, should I buy these? So you go to Amazon and you see the price, but Amazon doesn't tell you how many of these have sold lately. But there are a few clues that you can get from the Amazon page, and then I'll show you a few clues you can get from eBay. First, the clues from Amazon. I like the high rank, the high rating here. It's got four and a half or better stars. You can check the reviews see how many of those reviews are recent reviews. If the most recent review is a year or two ago, well, this may not be the best purchase because it means there's not a lot of activity recently. Another clue, if you scroll down the page, is the rank in toys and games. I zoomed in so you can see it. What does this ranking mean? A ranking of 17,000, is that good or bad? Is there any way to know? Well, let me show you something. Every three months, my team and I put this free table together. It's an Amazon decision helper. And if you scroll down to toys and games, you'll see that there's over 2 million at this point, almost 3 million in the toys and games category. So a ranking of 27,000 or lower puts you in the top 1%. There's a link to this table completely free right below this video if you're watching it on YouTube. Just click that link. We've also got a table for the UK and for the Canadian Amazon as well. So let's go back to our toy. This is a pretty good rank. It's probably going to sell fairly well for you at the price shown. Now, as a good rule of thumb, you can count on Amazon taking about one-third of this out of your pocket if you use FBA. That means if you send the product into Amazon and they do the fulfillment for you, it's going to cost you about 30% of this number here once your fees and shipping and handling and everything's included. If you fulfill it yourself, you will save a little bit of money, but I really like the FBA model for the simplicity. Now, something that you might instinctively do is jump over to eBay and see if the product is selling there. And here we see it is, and it's selling for a higher dollar figure, which is nice, but how do we know how fast it's selling? Where Amazon keeps its data kind of secret, it's hard to necessarily know how many of each item are selling. On, M on eBay, it's very easy to tell. All you have to do is scroll to the completed and sold listings area. If you search the sold listings, it's only going to show you this item and how many of them have sold recently, what the date of the sale was. You'll see a bunch of green numbers. I'm more interested though in completed listings because that will also show me how many didn't sell. So let's check that out real quick. So right at the top of the completed listing search, I find two that didn't sell. But then I see some good news. I see several that did sell. Now they're not selling for a lot of money, but you can see they are selling. Some of them are doing pretty well. But overall, I think this is a safe bet. If I can get my hands on these for $10 each, a bunch of them, and send them all into Amazon FBA, I think I'm going to do well. But these are just a few of the simple tools that you can use to help you make good decisions when you're buying inventory. So to recap, you want to check the price, of course, the ratings and reviews, are they recent? You want to scroll down and see where the product ranks in its category and compare that to our chart. Hopefully you're in the top 5 or 1% even. 1% is ideal. And then to get a better feel for how much activity there is, check the completed listings on eBay. Pay attention to the dates and the trends that you see here as well. That will give you a big clue as to how hot this item is and how likely it is to sell for you quickly on Amazon or on eBay if you choose.
Hey, if you like this video, I've got a couple resources below the video, including the chart that I showed you and our best selling course that teaches you how to get into selling on Amazon FBA. But I encourage you go out and try it. There's a link to another video right below this one, and I'm probably referenced it in the video a couple times as well how to learn to do FBA, fulfillment by Amazon, in eight minutes. And there's nothing that you need to purchase in order to do that except spend a little bit of money on the inventory that you're trying to flip on Amazon. But between that video and this one, you've really been empowered to go out and do some pretty powerful things. But at the ready point that you're ready to get more serious, we've got a great course for you with thousands of other students. We have a big community of people ready to help you out. And I'm proud to be a part of that community myself and be running this business with my own family as well. So hopefully you found these tips helpful. Hey, thanks for watching this video. And if you have any questions, post them below. I'm here to help out.